Hi, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about uh, tomorrow's uh, DFS slate for League of Legends. Um, just a quick recap. Um, we had all of the predictions, right, except for, I think, the KT. No, no, we got the sandbox, right? It's just like I, I played some KT players that scored pretty well. Um, I actually had a, fortunately, had a takedown in the $10 uh, Titans Fury. Um, that's the $1,000 to the first place. Um, so I was able to get the first place, you know, it doesn't happen all, it doesn't happen all the time, but, you know, I try to, you know, uh, you know, average one probably once every other week. Um, so, you know, that's probably it for the first couple of weeks, uh, you know, um, of August, but we'll see what happens after that. But, you know, um, the lineup that I took it down with was RNG four stack and then KT uh, uh, two stack. And then I had a, a Fred Abrion wh whom I predicted to beat HLE because Fred Abrion has been playing really well um, the, the last couple games. And so, so, um, so yeah, it kind of worked out. Um, so hopefully we continue, um, continue the ball rolling. Um, tonight's slate, it's going to be a little bit more chalky, in my opinion. Um, we have huge favorites in V5, and then huge favorites in V5 and JDG, and then T1, basically. Three games will have a huge, you know, favorites, and I do think they'll all win. Um, so I can just cut the video <laughs> short and then talk about the last game, but I won't do that to you guys. And I'll kind of talk about the kill upside as well like last night or this morning that I knew that the KT matchup would be pretty good because they were playing against Sandbox and Sandbox likes to skirmish, as you guys know. So um, whoever Sandbox plays against and Sandbox themselves, you know, typically have a pretty good, uh, you know, kill upside for that matchup. So that's why I targeted that matchup. So we'll kind of do a similar analysis on this slate. So without any further ado, let's dive into the LPL matchups first. V5 versus UP. Ultra Prime. Um, Ultra Prime has not been very good lately, but V5 has also been a little bit shaky. I do want to show you guys um, the standings so that we can kind of analyze the playoff implications for both teams. 2022 spring. See, sometimes it leads me to the spring season page. So you just got to click on summer. So we're in the last two weeks, two, three weeks. Um, of the summer split regular season. So the playoff picture, you know, is shaping up um, as the games go on these last two weeks. Um, as you guys see, TES, JDG, and Victory 5 is in the fourth place um, at 11 and 3 um, record. And they're playing against Ultra Prime, who is has been eliminated from the playoffs. So Ultra Prime doesn't really have anything to play for, and they're on a four-game losing streak. Like I said, they have not been playing well. Um, Victory, <clears throat> Victory Five. Um, how should I put it? Victory Five needs to win this match to stay in top four. They don't want to be in top. Uh, they don't want to be slide down to fifth, fifth, fifth place or the sixth place because, really, like I'll show you the playoff picture here. Um, it makes a tremendous difference on the playoff seating uh you know standpoint here in uh League of Legends tournaments. Um as you can as you can see here, uh if you get one, two, three, four seeds, you are guaranteed to advance to round three automatically, right? So it's not like in the NBA where it's like one play play against eight, two play against seven. It's not like that. Um here it's really you get you advance to all the way to round four, depending on what seed you are, right? So victory five, wanting to get that top two seeds, if not top four seeds, um, they really need this win. Um, as, you, as you can see, if they slide down to five and six, they'll be placed in round two. They don't want that to happen, obviously. So um, so like I said, I mean, you want to be in top four at least. Um, I think that's you know, where the, the, the elite teams are shooting for a top four finish at least. Um, and then you see the total of 10 teams uh, make um, the playoffs here in the LPL. 
So you want to see the cutoff line here, you know, highlighted in green here. So like I said, Ultra Prime has been eliminated. And if you even just look at the roster, uh, you know, comparison, XLB is starting at Jungle for Victory 5. I don't think Carsa. I think there's a rumor going around on Twitter um, in the LPL that Carsa was told by his coach, V5 coach Nofe, that he is not going to be uh, starting any more games for V5 for the rest of the summer split. So I think XLB, um, you know, should be starting. Also, probably will, will not get subbed out. Um, whoever V5 starts at jungle had not been gotten, had not gotten uh, subbed out, you know, like throughout a series. Like if they lose game one, uh, they would bring in Carsa or XLB, you know, who, who, who the other jungler is on the bench. Um, they have, haven't been doing that. And they haven't done that, so I think it's pretty safe to to presume that XLB is gonna, you know, play the entire series. For some other teams, that's a concern, like where one person starts and then he gets subbed out for another player. But I don't think that's a that's a concern here. Plus, like I said, I think V five more than likely should win this series. Um, I mean, you see Rich Zoom. That's probably a little bit of wash. I think Rich. Uh, you know he he's not that great in the laning phase, but he's a really good uh player in team fights. So I like that about him. So there's a good chance that Zoom could beat Rich in the top lane, but that's the only lane that I can remotely see UP winning or taking advantage of. XLB is better than Hacker. Rookie is better than Crying. Clearly, Fotic and PP God have been playing pretty well, and they've been better than Elkin. Now, the new support for Ultra Prime and Meow, new. So, V5 should win. My prediction is that V5 wins 2-0. to zero. So, V5 really needs this uh, this win to stay in top four of the playoffs, playoff uh, seating. JDG versus Anyone's Legend. Yeah, I mean, like, Anyone's Legend has been so up and down, and they've been pretty good, though. I mean, they're, you know, uh, their engine... They they're they're the AL goes as Xiao Hao and Betty and Cho Cho go. Um their jungler and their bottom lane have been the carries for that team. Um, but they're going up against the tough, tough juggernaut in JDG. And JDG is in the top two spot here. Yeah. So and they need this win more than anybody. Um well, they don't really need this win, but they need this win to stay in top two. Um, against you know RNG V5 and top esports, I mean they could potentially finish in the first place if they keep winning and hopefully top esports loses one, but you know who knows JDG is notor has you know is notoriously known for giving up a game in the series um this split so. More than likely, it's going to be two to one, but they still end up scoring really well for DFS purposes because their combined kills per minute is really high. Um, so I do like this game uh, more than any game on the slate um, to have a highest kill upside. So I would definitely target JDG pieces for long stack, um, especially Kanavi, Hope, um, and Yagao in 369, obviously. But um, if you, I mean, do I think anyone's legend has a shot? Yeah, I think anyone's legend has a remote shot, you know, probably one out of 10 times where anyone's legend can pull this off because like I said, JDG, so for some reason, they just take a game off in the series and they just make the dumbest mistakes um, in the series, even though they just end up winning two to one, no matter what. So, um, you know, against, Pretty good teams like anyone's legend that can backfire against JDG at times, I think, at some point. So I can definitely see anyone's legend maybe pull this off in like one out of 10 times, like I said. So more than likely, most likely JDG should win this series. I think I'm predicting just based on the history of JDG, they're going to win two to one. But I think the kill upside is still really, really good. So for JDG, yeah, I mean, I would target, like I said, the same players and anyone's legend, Xiao Hao and Betty and Cho Cho. In the LCK, Nongshim versus T1. Nongshim has been one of the worst teams in the in the LCK. Um, they they just been really bad. Um, 
Ghost and Snowflower, especially in the bottom lane, they've been really, really bad. And unfortunately, T1's bottom lane's form is coming coming up, coming up, back up with Gumayushi and Karia playing a little bit better than the earlier part of the summer split. And then Faker is Faker. I think against BDD, he'll do just fine. Um, Owner and Z- Zeus over Kana and Dread. I think that's going to be an interesting matchup and where probably the game's going to be decided at. Um, Kana obviously used to play for T1 in the past, um, but he's not. Unfortunately, his team is pretty bad. So he, you know, his stats are not very good. And really, I mean, they they need to put a lot of resources into Kana to be able to carry, but that really could not <laughs> be further from the truth how um, Nongshim has been playing, especially at jungle and then in the bottom lane. You know, I feel like every single lane, um, T1 has an advantage thereof. Um, so I do think T1 is going to win. Probably two to zero. Um, I think Nongshim has been such a, you know, just, just, they don't, they just don't have a solid game plan and they don't have a really good identity um, as to how they like to play and their strategies in game and pregame. And I mean, it's just, it's just a mess looking at them and watching, actually watching them play. So I do think T1 should win this. And for playoff implications, yeah, I mean, they should win. <clears throat> They should. Uh, they need to win this uh, game to compete against Gen G. Uh, you know, in the um for the first place here. So T one really needs this win to just be one game behind after that win. So yeah, I think T one's gonna win. And the kill upside that's pretty good. I think it's better than the other <clears throat> LZK matchup in my opinion. KDF has been playing really slow, and then Nongshim has been playing. It's slow as well, but not as slow as KDF. So I do think T1 has a pretty, pretty good kill upside um, compared to the other L- LCK matchup. Today, I, I mean, I again, I prefer, very much prefer uh, LPL matchups kill upside. But if you, you know, have to pick between the two LCK games, I would have to go with T1. And then the last LCK matchup is a closer one. But this one, like I said, is projected to be the least bloody amongst all four games on the slate. Um, so I don't know if I'll have any exposure or have, a, I don't think I'll have a lot of exposure to this game, either to either team KDF or DRX. I mean, DRX should win this, I think, but I can definitely see DRX drop a game. KDF has been playing a little bit better than usual uh, than before. And DRX has been playing a little bit worse than before. Um, DRX actually led by Zika, um, I think, and Piosik, I think they've been okay. Um, but the bottom lane sometimes struggles and uh, the lack of aggression and the lack of active plays that they like to make uh, for DRX has backfired against them. Um, I, I can definitely see Kwangdong Freaks maybe pull this off here tonight, um, but I'm just going to have to go with DRX because Zika and Piosik have been playing really well. And that is a big advantage over Faith and LM for kdf so so yeah and that's all i got for you guys today um like i said i you know hope to see you guys at the top of the leaderboard again um but if you guys have any other questions reach out to me at dfs chan uh this video has been sponsored by a true dfs so come check out um the channel uh while you uh hit the like button below um please hit the like button to you know kind of keep us motivated and keep us going to make these kind of videos um and also yeah lastly come check out my patreon where i share my favorite or my exact match predictions and favorite core plays for each team um tonight and then also some prize picks plays that you know if you guys are you know you know just better on those kill kills over under Yeah, let me know and hope you guys uh, have a good day. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one.